Today, I got something special planned for you. We're gonna make one of my favorite sodas, and it's healthy. Welcome back to the channel. I've been wanting to do this video on this craft soda for a while. I've perfected this recipe. I've tried so many, but look at this. We are making craft soda, more specific, homemade ginger ale. I can't wait to show you this video. Make sure you're clicking that like and subscribe button down below and let's get into making this homemade ginger ale. I can't wait to try it. Please don't ever this at these ingredients. This is what we're gonna use to make homemade ginger ale. And you probably already got some of this stuff. And don't forget Red Star wine yeast because this is what's gonna help carbonate our ginger ale. I've got a couple other soda videos. Make sure I'll put some links in the description, but let's show you what's in this thing. First, you gotta have fresh ginger. That is a must fresh ginger to make ginger ale. We're gonna use some lemons. I just think this takes it a little bit over the top. We got our sugar. We're gonna put vanilla in here because again, I just wanna raise it up a notch. Got a little bit of salt, but most of this stuff you're gonna have at home. Let's get right into this and we're gonna cut this ginger up. We're gonna get it cooking and I'll show you that in the next step. So we all know ginger is good for you. This is known to help lower your cholesterol and keep your blood pressure going well. And also for an upset stomach, ginger is a must. Or if you get cramps, this will help, but this soda will help as well because it's gonna have ginger in it. Is this soda healthy? Minus the sugar, yes, it's very healthy. All right, let's go over some of the supplies we're gonna need. You're gonna need a grater, something like this, because we wanna grate our ginger to get it fine to release some of that flavor. You'll need some measuring spoons for measuring our yeast out. I like to use this thing to get our juice out of our lemon. It's a little mini juicer. We'll use that. We'll use a funnel to get it into our bottles. And all you need for bottles on this thing are just plastic reusable soda bottles. All right, we got our ginger here. We're ready to get this thing prepared. So what we want, you want about a two to three inch piece of ginger for a two liter bottle. So I'm just gonna cut this here. And this is what we want, that's it. I'll give you an exact measurement once we grate this of what, how much that is. It's probably about two to three tablespoons. So we got our two to three inch ginger piece here. Now we wanna just grate this on our coarse side. So we're just gonna grate this without getting your knuckles. And if you could smell this, it smells incredible. There's nothing like Freshly grated ginger, I think. See all that we got there. Again, this is to make a two liter bottle of soda. Okay, I'm gonna stop, because I don't wanna get my fingers in, but we will still throw this in the cooker. So there we go. I measured this out after grating it, and it is exactly three tablespoons of fresh ground ginger if you wanna keep track, but again, I just eyeball it, a two to three inch piece is all you need of the ginger. And get fresh ginger. Don't use the powder for this. This is gonna be healthy. So what we wanna do is now we wanna get this ginger on the stove. I got two cups of water here. We're gonna add to our little saucepan. And then you just wanna throw your ginger in there. Again, that's two to three tablespoons. Put that in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna boil this for about five minutes to bring that ginger taste out. All right, you can see it's just starting to boil. I'm gonna give this a little slight stir here. 
Oh, and if you could smell this ginger, it smells incredible. I'm not a fan of ginger in my food, but man, when I make this ginger ale, I do like the smell of it. All right. It's been boiling a slow boil for about five minutes. Now what we want to do is we want to cut the heat off. But here's where it gets exciting. Here's where you control how much sugar. You want anywhere from a half a cup to one cup. I like to go right in between. This is three quarters of a cup of sugar. So we're going to put that in now. And we're just going to stir that to get this sugar dissolved a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on and just let this cool to pretty close room temperature. That's what we want. Get the sugar dissolved, cover it, let it steep for a little bit. It's going to bring out more flavor. So there we go. Sugar is pretty much dissolved. We're going to put the lid on and wait till it cools. All right. So now we got our lemon. We want half a lemon for this recipe. So let's just roll this around a little bit. Get some of that juice released. And let's cut this lemon in half. Again, we only want half of this for this recipe. If you're making two bottles, you use half in each one. So I just took the lid off here. And we're just going to give it a stir. But I want to put this in a different container because this thing's just a pain to pour out of. So I'm just going to swap these. Pour it in there. I just wanted to get most of that ginger out of here, so I added a little bit more water just to get the pot clean. So now we are ready to get our lemon in here. Remember, we want half a lemon. So this is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze this juice right in to our ginger water. And we want to get as much of this out as we can. And this thing helps catch the seeds. But we're going to use a funnel with a filter on. So if any of these seeds get in here, that's no problem. All right. So I think we got as much lemon as out of this as we can. So I'm good with that. So let's put this aside. Now, this next step, it's not necessary. But I think... It puts it over the top. This is my secret, my homemade vanilla. So what I want to do is I'm going to put carefully, try and pour this one teaspoon of this homemade vanilla into this. Again, I got a link to how to make this vanilla extract. But there's a famous ginger ale out there. And I know it is heavily seasoned with fresh vanilla extract. So there we go. And I just want to give it one more final stir in here before we start the bottling part. That's looking great. Now we're ready to get this in our two liter bottle here. You can see it's all cleaned up and I got a fun one. You can see this little strainer that's going to catch some of that pulp. That's why we really don't want to grind that ginger too far. We want to catch as much of that as we can. So let's start pouring this mixture into here. just filled this up a little bit more to clean out that container and we're just going to fill this bottle up about one to two inches from the top. Alexa, what are the health benefits of ginger? Here is what I found. Some health benefits commonly associated with ginger eating nausea, easing muscle pain and soreness, reducing inflammation, reducing blood sugar and preventing heart disease, treating chronic indigestion, reducing cholesterol levels, reducing risk of cancer, improving brain function, preventing Alzheimer's disease, fighting infection, chemotherapy or pregnancy, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. 
I had it way up here. I didn't want, so I had to dump a little bit out. So that's about where you want it, where it's starting to come up the neck. Now we got to get the neck stuff in here. Now what you want to do is you want to take a little pinch of salt. This is just going to bring out a little bit of that sweetness and adds a little more depth. Then it's time to add the yeast. And this is the part that simply just amazes me. You want about an eighth of a teaspoon or less. It doesn't take much yeast. That is plenty. I don't, hopefully you can see that, but it's just barely covering the bottom of this quarter teaspoon here. So I'm just gonna dump that in. That little bit of yeast is gonna carbonate this whole bottle. So that's it. We just made homemade ginger ale. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is mix this up now. You just wanna slowly get this yeast a little bit mixed in there, but look at the color and the fresh ginger in here. It's just gonna be the best ginger ale you ever have. So once I mix this up a little bit, what we wanna do next is I'm gonna put this in the sink because you, you can see how much give we have now. This will take four, anywhere probably four to eight hours where I won't be able to push that in. That means it's carbonated. So I wanna keep it in the sink just in case of any mishaps. Once we get this hard and we can't, and there's very little give, we'll stick it in the refrigerator and it'll be ready to drink. So that's how the carbonation happens. And one of my favorite things about making this homemade soda with yeast is if I put it in the fridge and I drink it maybe down to about here, if I, it, gets, it gets a little flat, you just take it out of your refrigerator for about four more hours and it'll get hard again and recarbonate itself. I've recarbonated when it was all the way down here. Just take it out of the refrigerator, let it sit on the counter, and it will ferment again and carbonate. And that's what's amazing. When you put it in the refrigerator, that's when it puts the yeast to sleep, basically. But this is just an amazing soda. We're going to have a taste test here in a couple hours. So let's let this sit, and we'll be back to it. Look at this. This looks amazing or what? I know we got to put a fresh lemon in this because it just looks pretty, right? <laughs> it's a craft soda because we made it. I can't wait any longer. I got to taste it. Oh man. You taste the ginger in there, obviously. You taste the lemon. It's great. Oh and just a little hint of the vanilla at the end. It's one of my favorite craft sodas to make. Make sure you're trying it. All right, thanks for tuning in. Let's wrap it up with this ginger ale. I love making it for you. I hope you try it. It's one of my favorites. It's healthy. You heard Alexa. She thinks it's healthy too. So she can't be wrong, right? And make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. I want more. Wherever this life